Nike Air Max is a pivotal part of the street culture. So to launch the new models in Brazil, we put them on the feet of those who most represent the streets. The graffiti characters of Sao Paulo. I wouldn't do that. What? The governor hates graffiti. He erased hundreds of them. I know, bro. That's why we hacked the ones that survived. This is the Air Max Graffiti Store. In partnership with Insta Graffiti, Brazil's biggest street art collective, we invited artists to update their own existing characters with the new Air Max models. Every week, a new drop in different regions of the city. The only way to get the sneakers on a limited pre-sale was to visit the walls, access Nike.com, and unlock the purchase through geolocation. Everything in seconds with no lines. That's sick. Yeah. And to spread the word about the project, we gave life to our most iconic character, showing off his new Air Max around town. Graffiti fans loved it, but sneakerheads, they went crazy. Oh, Air Max 720. Tem que vir aqui e desbloquear por geolocalização. Oh. Isso, moleque. Desbloqueado. Finalizar a compra. We were planning the next drops. And then this happened. Wait, the governor got convicted? Yeah. So backed by the court decision, we brought back six iconic characters erased by him, wearing six new Air Max models. Sneakers were sold out in minutes, but the mural will live on as cultural heritage to the city. With 10 drops and counting, the project became a profitable platform for new releases. The Air Max Graffiti Stores transformed city walls into Nike stores, turning the brand's e-commerce into a cultural experience. Right.